All right, what's up everyone, Duquesne23 here, and today I'm gonna to be going over a very highly requested video on how to have a delay in between each of your waves uh, you know of AI so that way if you you know want a 30 second delay between wave one and wave two or a 15 second or a 10 second uh, delay uh, you'll be able to do that so that way if you do you know play like want to plan on making your own firefight you want to give the players just time to be able to actually you know run around you know collect more weapons or something like that uh, you can go ahead and add this delay in there so the second wave will not spawn, you know, yet and so on and so forth. Um, I will also be showing you how to endlessly have waves. So I, earlier in a different video, I showed you how to just have a single group of enemies and they're just basically respawning constantly. Like that's what they do. Like once you kill that group of enemies, they respawn back again. But a lot of people are asking, well, how do I do that with waves? So this is perfect for that PvPVE experience so if you have a normal btb map or something like that but you want to have enemies spawning in uh you know and once of course all the players kill all the enemies with all the different waves uh, they want that wave to start back over uh, so you can have like let's say four waves and everyone kills and it's the fourth wave and then the you know players kill that fourth wave you want it to respawn and come back to the first wave and just basically repeat endlessly until the btb match is over with uh, I will be explaining that on how to do that here in this video as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. The very first thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be uh, spawning in a prefab. And on a keyboard, you hit R for that. And I believe on a controller, you hit Y. And that brings up your menu. And right there are the prefabs right here. So you just click on that. I do, I will have this in the description. This is my prefab that, that I made in the previous video uh, covering AI, and this is the AI wave script. Uh, so basically you uh, spawn in the AI wave script and you wanna hold down E and you wanna ungroup it. I believe it is X on the controller. I will have the conversion of like me between keyboard and controller uh, in the description. So if I say hold down E, uh, it'll, I believe, be X on a controller. If I hold down R on the keyboard, it'll be uh, holding down Y on the, or no, if I press R, um, that will be like pressing Y on the controller, just like that. I'm switching between the two uh, right here. And then also if you hold down Q on the keyboard, that brings up the build menu and stuff like that in the node graph and the quick save. Uh, that's Q on the keyboard, and but that is holding down Y on the actual controller. Uh, so if you do that, you can get to everything on the controller. Now, I know people were asking, like, I don't have the build menu on, on my map. Uh, if you don't have the build menu on your map, that's because you're on a dev made map. And dev made maps already have nav mesh and all that type of stuff built in. You can't change any of that. Um, so that's just something to remember. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and keep going. I went ahead and spawned in my script here uh, that I made in the other video And this is what it looks like right here. This is the typical like waves right here I just have three waves right here and this is on the once it hits that last wave um, If there's nothing else spawning it'll end the round and this is basically it'll end the game uh, this is pretty much how you uh, do it if you just want a normal firefight that just you know pretty much ends uh, once you're done uh, there so uh, but of course we want to add let's say we want to add intermissions we want to add delays in between each wave the very first thing that you're gonna need to do is set up your you know AI spawn here um, so because right now the object list there's nothing connected to it for the AI spawns here um, you're gonna have to set up your own with that and so I have my first three over here that I'm gonna be uh, connecting to like so and then all you have to do is go back into the node graph here and then you come over here and you'll just basically add in your object reference I'm trying to remember what you press for a controller okay you hold down Y uh, for control you press Y and for controller and you could click on add object references and those are basically all your uh, objects that you have selected it will spawn them in right there and so I go ahead and I try to neatly put these at least somewhat I'll try to do it quickly and we'll get through this right here okay come on come on 
there we go one two three and then you need to do these to the rest of them if you have more waves then you can add more waves you basically copy this put it down and just connect it like how these are connected and you can have more spawns you can have as many spawns as you want um, but just you just know uh, for the object list you're gonna be having to add uh, a, a um, combiner there to be able to combine the object lists together uh, but again I go over that in the previous video let's go ahead and keep moving I'll go ahead and connect the rest of these and then I'll get back to you okay now I have them all connected and like I said this is basically um, just gonna be having you know just the normal thing like let me go ahead and just spawn in here and just so you can see reinforcements and it pretty much there they are so let's just go ahead and shoot them and look then the next set spawns over here and there they are right there but if, as you saw there was no delay so that's what we're going to be solving right now uh because we want to have a little bit of delay between then because you know in between your rounds you want to be able to restock and everything like that okay so the thing that you want to do here is you want to copy uh, some of these options you want to copy go ahead and uh, the wave options here the wave and of course the add You know uh, wave to wave manager you want to copy all three of these options um, Now, you know, unfortunately I can't you know, just like grab them all because I don't have them lined up Which I guess I could have just and done that I could have lowered this one down moved this one to here and then just gone like this that that would probably make it a whole lot easier I'm gonna hit copy so then I could go out here and I could paste it all. Okay, there we go. Look at that. We have ourselves our wave options right here. Let's go ahead and move this back up. And I will try to clean this up real quick. Let's go ahead and lower some of this stuff down um, because we're going to have to make room just a little bit. Let's scoot that down so then I can actually, you know, move down. And we're going to have to make room in between this right here as well. Uh, so we'll just go something like that. So pretty much I, you know, have this right here uh, Because here, let's go ahead and move this here. So it's just a little bit a uh, little bit different So it's not way up there and stuff um, So basically I have this right here and then this wave manager here And I mean the wave and then the wave manager uh, add to the wave manager piece right here So the thing is that you're gonna want to do is come over here and clear this connection uh, to this add wave manager. This is the first wave right up here You want to go ahead and clear that connection and what you're gonna want to do is connect it into this one Because the thing is you don't want to connect it into the second wave, which is down here uh, You cleared that connection. So it doesn't connect into the second wave Basically what you're gonna do is connect it into this wave right here now This wave is going to be an intermission wave uh, So right here where it says wave type you want to click on that and go over to intermission there uh, so that makes it just drastically easier you could just go intermission and bam you already have a nice little intermission right there and now you want to change the duration in seconds and this is whatever you want it to be so I'm gonna go ahead and change it to five seconds just because I don't want you know this is just an example I don't want to sit here and go forever but you could change it to 30 seconds you could change it to one minute you know, you can change it to whatever you want. Uh, that will be basically mean this is an intermission and it will be uh, right there. Duration is five seconds. Now for this one, the wave options, make sure for the intermission, you go ahead and just go ahead and turn that off. Let's turn all these off uh, here. Just all three of them false. Turn them all off because you don't want messages and stuff like that. And just go ahead and keep the extermination percentage to 100% there uh, with that. And there you go. And now what you're going to want to do is connect this intermission wave right here. You're going to connect it to the second wave uh, right there. So there you go. You connect it to the second wave. Let's go ahead and uh, how about we move this out a little bit like, like so. Uh, just so it's a little bit cleaner uh, right there. So there we go. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and pop that there. Perfect. Perfect. See, that looks pretty good. Now that is done this that means this will pretty much have an intermission So let's go ahead and clear this connection so we can put an intermission between the second uh, Wave and the third wave and pretty much you could do the exact same thing here Go ahead and copy that right there And I'm just gonna duplicate it and paste it over here not duplicate it paste it over there and there we go It's real easy and then now you're just gonna connect this here 
and you're gonna connect it there. Boom, and that's done, right there. Now you have intermission there. Now, some people were also asking, now what do you do on like a gameplay start? Like what if I wanna have a delay before the game starts, before the first wave? So this one's a little bit different. Uh, this one, you want to go ahead and add in um, the uh, the wait for seconds one. I couldn't remember what it was called. It's right here, wait for seconds. You could duplicate it from right here, uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and go into the node area and um, try to find that. Where is the wait for seconds uh, thing on here? I'm trying to remember. Is it in the variable basics on here? I, I don't. I don't remember. Oh my gosh, where is this at? There's so much stuff. There it is. It's in the logic. Uh, for wait for n seconds there we go and so instead of this connecting to here immediately uh, bring it in to wait for n seconds and then connect it to there like that and then make sure you put in however many seconds so we'll just put in four seconds so at the start of the game once the gameplay starts it'll wait four seconds and then it'll throw in uh, the very first you know wave right here so and then we'll have a five second uh, intermission between wave one uh, to start wave two and then have another five second intermission between wave two and then it'll start wave three uh, So let's go ahead and test that uh, so we could see what it looks like here uh, Okay, so one two three four and it should be about here. There we go Four. there's one And there we go and look they haven't spawned yet They haven't spawned yet and there they go, they just spawned. So that was that five second intermission that was there. And then now the other one should spawn right here. Wait for it. And there they are. And then they spawned right there, perfect. So that's the, there we go. And awesome, it's all done. Wait four seconds and then the game ends. Of course, the game can't end because I'm in, you know, Forge, but it does tell me it, the script has successfully ended the game. So there we are. Uh, we have that. That's if you want like a normal, you know, uh, like a normal type of firefight, something like that with some intermissions between the waves. Now let's go ahead and explain what to do whenever you actually want to just like, let's say you're making a PVE, you know, PVPVE, like a BTB map that has AI on it. So, you know, like, so you're normally like playing normal multiplayer, but there's some AI on it. So you don't want the game to end once you hit your last wave. You just want this, once you hit your third wave, you want it to repeat and go back up into the first wave and go through all the waves again, and then just keep repeating and while you're playing your normal multiplayer match. So the thing is on here, just remember, uh, we pretty much created something to happen right here already once this wave ends right here. Like pretty much once this wave ends, normally this right here, it would end the round. But let's just take that and let's delete the end round because, well, we don't want that. We don't wanna, you know, we don't wanna have the, uh, in the round there. So what you're gonna be doing now is you're gonna be taking this entire thing here This whole thing like this just a big old just grab it all grab it all like that and um, Man, this is gonna get real messy. So what I suggest real quick uh, What I suggest is uh, just let's just add a quick node in and stretch out uh, stretch out the, um, the space where, you know, you actually, uh, like can build and move around. Cause if you don't stretch it out, it, you know, basically gets locked off and it's going to get all wonky whenever you spawn all this in, they'll get scattered all over the place. But basically you want to copy this whole thing and just hit copy, move over to your clear open space that you made and then hit paste and you're just pasting in the entire thing again. Okay, so then pretty much, I don't know why I clicked off of it. I shouldn't have done that, I should just grabbed it. Let's go ahead and drag this down here now. Okay, yep, there we go. Good, good, making solid, you know, connections here. Making solid connections. So pretty much now what you're gonna be doing is if true, and then let's add it right there, done. Boom, that's it. That's all you have to do. 
and then now anytime this wave ends like in the final wave ends it just restarts the entire thing again so let's go ahead and jump in and let's test this out to make sure i'm not full of it and it's actually going properly in here so let's see okay there's one two there we go okay let's wait for this one to spawn here all right there you go there's those five seconds where that one spawned okay oh dang i missed that headshot oh dang. okay we got this i i am skilled like i said in another video mint blitz jr over here <laughs> uh but okay there we go last enemy and instead of ending it it should wait and there you go there's the start of the next the the first round again first round has started let's go through it one more time just to make sure nothing broke uh and it's all working fine but yeah it just the first round started which is great exactly what you, we want one two hey don't be throwing nades at me all right and here we go here's the another one right here come on there we are there we go and i missed there we go there we go boom and the next one should respawn right over here back to wave one and then there's wave one again awesome it's all working good it's all working good but that's how you do it everyone that's how you do it it's really not too bad i will have that one uh script if you wanted that one you know the prefab right here the ai wave script the one that i did in a previous video where you just add spawners and you can go ahead and just copy this you pretty much this is right here with uh, delays in there it's uh it's fairly easy just follow the directions of what i went over and then here we go and you pretty much just have to copy this entire top part here spawn it down here delete that one piece that's in that uh prefab that's right on the end to end the game delete that and connect that if true connect it into this uh add wave to wave manager and boom there you go done uh and then now you have endless waves uh right here now remember if you don't want endless waves do not do this if you're doing a normal firefight map where it actually ends once you finish out your waves um do not do the endless wave thing just you know if you want intermission you can just do this right here uh but yeah if you're doing a pvp uh ve like a btb game with uh some ai on it uh, just do this right here and now it'll continuously spawn in enemies um what you know like through the waves or throughout your btb match and you could put as much time as you want between them you know if you don't want uh, every five seconds they spawn you can wait 30 seconds so that way you know just enemies aren't crazily all over the place on your map you know or something like that at all times so uh, yeah, I hope this really helps. I am going to be coming out with some more videos with AI. I know some people have been asking about like adding points uh, to like per kill that you get with AI, like per uh, like class of enemy. Um, and I know Captain Punch was able to come out with something with that. So I'll look that over and, you know, try to come out with a video uh, showing that because uh, Captain Punch is extremely smart whenever it comes also to scripting. Uh, so he was able to come up with this really cool thing. Uh, I highly suggest y'all jumping over and checking out also the scripters guild discord. I will leave a link to that as well. Uh, that pretty much that whole group, you can ask questions and you know, you can get people to answer some stuff, uh, in there specifically for scripting. Uh, so if you have any type of questions like that, so thank y'all everyone for coming out. I appreciate it. Uh, you know, I hope this helped some of y'all out. Uh, subscribe for more tutorials. Um, I will try to come out with tutorials every few days over some things that, you know, I find out and also that I figure out. Uh, so thank you, everyone. And remember, let's forge a new halo.